Attorney General Tong is slamming the deal. He says it's unfair to the thousands of people in Connecticut who have lost loved ones due to the opioid epidemic. Purdue Farmer, maker of the powerful prescription painkiller OxyContin, pled guilty to three federal criminal charges as part of an $8.3 billion settlement, according to the U.S. Justice Department. Attorney General William Tong says the Stanford-based company will potentially still be in the opioid business after being responsible for an opioid addiction and overdose crisis linked to more than 470,000 deaths across the U.S. since 2000. What we have to do is shut down Purdue Pharma and make sure that not just the company named Purdue, but whatever's left of them, their managers, their executives, their ownership, the Sacklers, that they don't spend another day in the opioid business. In response to the settlement, officials say today Purdue is a very different company, making changes to its leadership, operations, governance, and oversight. While Tong says this doesn't hold Purdue accountable for its actions, instead it enacts fines and penalties the company will likely never fully pay. But I also object to diverting, uh, it looks like up to $8 billion that could be used by states and cities and towns here in Connecticut to fund treatment and prevention here in Connecticut and across the country. Tong says the settlement provides a mirage of justice for the victims of Purdue's misconduct. Victims such as John Lally's son, who died of an opioid overdose. Well, I take this very personally because my son Tim died from an opioid overdose five years ago. And he, like most people who get into opioids, started with pills like OxyContin that are on the streets. And people are dead because they intentionally misled prescribers about the lethality of this drug. They had evidence that it was addictive and they told doctors the opposite. Lolly has dedicated his life to raising awareness surrounding the opioid crisis in Connecticut and says it's unfair to see Purdue Pharma pay its way out of jail. Because they wear white coats that doesn't make them any less criminally liable. They need to pay for thousands of deaths, not just with money. Now, Connecticut has been leading a separate lawsuit against the pharmaceutical company since 2018, alleging the company used false statements to push patients towards opioids, making sales while addiction skyrocketed here in the state. That lawsuit is still ongoing. In Hartford, Sneha Maldonado, Fox 61 News.